be making bases. What's good, YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe. Also, hit the thumbs up on this video if you like the video and say something in the comments. I respond to all the comments I can. So, without further ado, let's get into today's content. Today, I want to do a video on how to make uh, or arrange a trap beat in Logic Pro 10 in 10 minutes or less. I'm gonna say it again. We're gonna be arranging a trap beat in Logic Pro 10 in 10 minutes or less. All right, so this is the beat. I'm gonna let you hear it, and then we're gonna throw the timer on. We're gonna arrange this beat into song format. No cap, let's get it. This is the beat. It's actually the beat that we did in the last video, uh, making a trap beat um, in 10 minutes or less in Logic Pro 10. So let's check this beat out if you're new to the uh, channel. All right, y'all. So that's that's the that's the beat. Okay, that's the beat. Now let's go ahead and get that timer up and start that joint right now. All right. So first things first, you want to basically take a listen to all of the different sections of the beat or all of the different um, tracks in the beat. So I'm just gonna rename this. This is my melody. This is my main melody. All right. Um, this I think this is like a synth. And I know for the last video, this is an organ. Um, you know, just want to get organized, you know what I'm saying? And just know what everything is first, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know all the way what everything is, how can you arrange it in so into song format? So we're just going to do that. First step. Boom. All right, cool. So now we got that. I'm going to resave the beat. I'm going to say number two after it. And just clean this mug up. Like delete this guy. Do like that. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight everything by pushing Command A, and then we're gonna go to the end by pushing the greater than or left than signs. You can move this playhead to the end, and I'm gonna push Command V. I'm oh, actually gonna copy it, Command C, then push Command V to paste this. I usually paste it at least a couple of minutes just so I have something to work with. I'll check the time, okay? Minute 32 seconds, that's good, that's good enough. Um, I usually, you know, it's good to start the beat off with um, just the melody, so that's how we're gonna do it. So I'm, I don't wanna, you know, waste too much time. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into the beat. Sometimes people like to give long intros. Um, honestly, that's the best thing to do is just get right into it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and delete all, or not delete, but mute out all of this. So I highlighted it, push command, or excuse me, control M, and it highlight and it uh, muted out everything within uh, the workspace. And then I'm just gonna bring in my drums. You want to basically just play around with it and see kind of, you know, what the first thing I would recommend doing is jumping right into the hook. So, like, I have this uh, organ in here. Probably bring that in in the second part of the hook. Matter of fact, we'll go ahead and bring that 808 in, too. So, check this out. Let's check it out now. Cool, cool, cool. As you see, I'm pretty much just keeping it very simple. That's what I'm gonna do for the verse right here. And then what I like to do is go ahead right before the hook comes back in, 
Um, I go ahead and just like cut out like a measure. And then we're just gonna go jump right back into the hook. So let's just play it for the beginning. Let's see what it sounds like. So that's pretty much going to be the, the, the meat and the potatoes of this. Now that I have that, I pretty much can come over here and just delete this real quick. And I'm just going to copy and paste this right here. So this is the hook. And then this is the uh, verse. And then I could just add different variations on the verse and the hook. So I'm just going to do it like this. Do it like that. Songs are actually pretty short nowadays. You don't even have to have a long song. Um, and so what I'll do is just delete it like this. So check this out. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to come in here on the hook of these other ones, of these other hooks right here, and I'm going to go ahead and bring in the kick and bring in that uh, that organ sound the whole way through. And then we're just going to come over here to, this, to these other verses and just add a little bit of variation. So like maybe on this second verse, Instead of having like the beat drop in, I'm just going to cut the beat all the way out. Right. And just mix it up. Instead of having the kick come in right there, we'll have the kick come in like this just to mix it up some. And um, so that's going to be the, uh, the second verse. So let's just play it from the middle of the hook over here and then we'll go into the second verse. And usually for that like third verse, I want to do a little something different with the melody. So what I'll do is I'll just double this melody or double that track right there. So basically creating a new track, I just highlighted this and just push command D. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here and bring it down. All right. And then from there, we'll just put like some type of dope effect on it or something that will, you know, make it sound a little different. Um, Let's just use the Cable Guys halftime effect. So we'll put that on it. Um, all right, bet. So we're going to put that on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut out, um, cut out the 808 and the kick, bring the kick back in right here. And then... We'll also bring the 808 right here. And all I'm doing is holding down control and then pushing M to mute different things in the uh, workspace window. So now we're gonna just go ahead and listen from this uh, middle part of this, I guess this is a third hook, and just go ahead and jump right into um, this third verse.
And then, like, just to end it off, what I can do is um, come over here and push A. And what that's going to do is bring up my automation. And I'm going to come over here, just click there, like at the beginning of this little last part. And I'm just going to do a fade out. Okay. And since it's like going to be kind of for a rapper, that's why I'll do it like that. So let's just listen to it from here. And pretty much that's that. Only other thing that I would do here is maybe add some transitional sounds, like maybe right right before this hook comes in, this first hook, right before this, like basically right before every hook comes in. So um, I'm already done with the actual um, arrangement of this beat, but like I said, we're gonna go ahead and throw that, um, throw some type of um, like a rev up sound or something like that. So what I'll do is I'll come over here um, and we're going to actually use a default patch. Click create. I'm going to throw this all the way down here. And then I'm going to go up here to my library. And I'm just going to put like riser or rise. And then I have a bunch of different rises that I can choose from. I don't want to do that one. The strobe might be dope. And I kind of don't like these rises. So what I'll do is I'm going to pick one that I already have here in the quick sampler. And we'll use that instead. So I'm going to go over here. And actually, like, this bell is pretty dope. We'll add a bell. So we'll add a bell, and then we'll add a riser bell to kind of like a, a, a reverse bell on this to get this going. So let's just do this. We'll turn this bell down some and all right, cool. We'll have that bell right there. I'll quantize it just to make sure everything is right. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste this or drag this over by holding down option and dragging it over, dragging it over to each hook. And there you go. And now for the riser part, I'm just gonna go ahead and we can actually just double this, push command D. And I'm gonna find this reverse bell that I created in here. All right, we'll just do that right before the, the hook comes in. It's something subtle, but it's gonna make a difference when it comes to the, you know, how, how dope your beat sounds. I'll quantize that as well. And then I'm just gonna take this and drag it over, hold down option and drag it over to like right before each hook. And then bam, the beat is pretty much done. I mean, you know, we could do a lot of different things on this, but I'll just kind of just let this play. Um, I'm actually gonna let this play for this, from the second verse, I mean, it's this first verse, like this, like in, like this half of this verse, let it play in there and then you'll see how it sounds in the actual song. y'all right, so that's pretty much today's video shows you you know some some sauce on how to arrange a trap beat in logic pro 10 in 10 minutes or less thanks for watching again if you're new go ahead and hit that subscribe button also if you liked the video hit me a thumbs up for me okay and also drop me a comment i will respond man appreciate y'all rocking with the video see you in the next one